human has been neutralized. We've got another one here, another NES system with the blinking lights. Uh, this one I've cleaned it uh, using some contact cleaner, I've cleaned the game. I can get it to where it actually won't even flash, it'll just turn gray, a solid gray screen. And I actually got it to play one time, I've got it to come up with some corrupted graphics and things like that. The insertion on this one's even even weaker than the last NES that I did a video for. And so I think the 72 pin connector in this one is really just worn out. So I'm going to do another experiment. On the last one I was able to boil the 72 pin connector and do several trials and it seems like it worked really well. So, you know, that's only one NES. I've heard some people say that they boiled it and it didn't help. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again on this one. I'm going to go ahead and boil the 72 pin connector. 10 to 15 minutes. That's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to try to bend the pins or anything like that. Slap it back in and see if it works. But this is pretty much what I've been getting. Either the flashing, the solid gray. Um, so, oh, there's a solid gray. So, I'm um, going to take this apart and boil it and put it back together and see what happens. Okay, so I've got the 72 pin connector off. I'm going to go give it a boil. I've got my 72 pin connector, it's been boiled now. I'm not sure how much difference we'll be able to see just from looking at it, but the test will be to see if it actually works any better. Okay, so I've got it uh, back together enough to test it out and see what happens. Ta da! Ta-da! <laughs> so, there you have it folks. Boiled the uh, 72 pin connector. This is the second uh, nest I've tried it on. This one was even worse than the last one. And, um, hey, it really works. And it's preferable to replacing uh, the 72 pin connector with the ones available in the market today. The the metal and the construction just isn't uh, the same tolerances. So if you can save your 72 pin connector, the original one, just by boiling it for you know 10, 15 minutes, um, brings it back to life. Apparently, it, it just works. Um, I'm sure s some percentage of them this isn't going to be effective on. I've heard people say they boiled it, didn't work, so then they had to go in manually, you know, pick the pins and rebend them. But so far, I'm two for two. Um, maybe I'll keep. Every time I get a nest that doesn't work, which is every single one I get, is pretty much like this. Um, I'll just keep doing them and keep a tally. Okay, well, after declaring victory on this uh, NES system where I've boiled the connector uh, and I got it to work, uh, I tried a few more games and actually it's not working as good as I really hoped it would. So this uh, continuation of this video, um, shot several days later, actually probably a couple weeks later, is going to be what what do you do when you've boiled the connector and it still isn't working quite right so I'm gonna try a couple different things do a couple different tests and see if I can't get this uh, NES system working a whole lot better uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is try a couple different games I've got a stack here I've got a few of them that seem like they work pretty good a couple that seem like they don't work uh, fairly consistently I'm going to try uh, doing some cleaning on those games, see if that's a big difference, and then we might try to boil the connector again, and then I might even try to um, you know, bend the pins on the connector. A lot of people say that works. I, I think you should do that after you've boiled the connector. If you boil the connector, uh, bending the pins, potentially you could damage them, but I um, might try it if I have to, and um, we'll see what else comes up uh, if I can get this uh, working right. So here we go. Okay, so first up I've got uh, Mario, Mario Duck Hunt. Uh, next I've got Legend of Zelda. Uh, 
Mario Brothers. No duck hunt. Hogan's Alley. Okay, you've got Wheel of Fortune. Athletic World. Seems to be pretty sensitive to, to touching it. That seems a lot more like a loose connector than a dirty cart, but I'll put this in a pile with some. I'm going to try to clean those, see if they, if they start working a lot better. This one doesn't do that. Oh, there I got to freeze. Marble Madness. This is uh, Ice Hockey. Tetris. Pretty good. Uh, this is another copy of Mario Duck Hunt. Okay, so I've got um, you know, it's about four different games I've uh, sort of chosen kind of randomly, but these, these ones seem to be um, a little bit worse than some of the other ones. Not necessarily, but I've got Ice Hockey, Galaga, Athletic World, and Wheel of Fortune. And I'm going to focus in on these. I'm going to try cleaning the games and seeing how much of a difference that makes. I, I feel like I've cleaned these m maybe. Uh, I can't remember, but... Um, we'll try a couple different ways of cleaning them to see if that is something that's going to make it act a lot better before I start tackling uh, the 72 pin connector again. So let's take a look at ice hockey. Okay, I got a flash. And uh, 
Is that good? Let's see. You know, frozen. Okay, so I'm gonna take ice hockey and shoot some uh, contact cleaner in here with a, a Q-tip and see what that does. All right. Okay, so I've gotten um, a fair bit of, of some sort of corrosion or oxidation off. Um, that was the second Q-tip side. So it uh, looks like I've got some of that cleaned off and let's see what happens now. It's a little bit of dust that got stuck in there. Okay, well that was um, that was a big change. Um, I don't know how many times I just did that, maybe ten, and uh, it didn't mess up once. Um, I'll set this one aside. Maybe come back to it in a little bit. Maybe there's still some moisture from the contact cleaner. Some contact cleaner still on there that hasn't dried off, and that's making it connect better. I'm not sure. Um, so on to Galaga. Okay, this one, um, this one wasn't quite as dirty. Didn't have as much on there. Just gonna try it out. looks like there's some, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it looks like some of these characters are distorted. I'm not sure if that's, I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to be like that, but the game will start. There's some more like garbage. working pretty good. I still think that that uh, some of the graphics are a little corrupted, but I'm not sure if that's... Hmm. I don't know if I noticed that one before. Let's try a different one. 
Okay, so I've got um, Athletic World. Let's try this one. Okay, so uh, this one had a little bit. Um, maybe not as much as before. But um, we'll see if how it works. Okay, so that one, every time I put it in, it goes to the gray screen, but if I hit reset, it'll come back and work. Which is kind of interesting. And seems pretty consistent about it, too. Which is a little bit weird. Okay. Um, let's try uh, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, so it's got a bit and clean afterwards. That, that one seems to be working pretty good. Okay, so I've had some mixed results um, with cleaning. So a few of these games seem like they started working really well. I think uh, Galaga um, start you know working like 100% of the time after I cleaned it, and then a few of them, um, like Athletic World, is like mm, halfway working. Um, but now that these have been sitting um, for a little bit, they've had definitely time to dry. There's no more contact cleaner residue on them in case that's what's making them work temporarily or something like that. So I'm going to go and try them all again one more time and see where we're at. So ice hockey. So it wasn't an ice hockey that was working 100% of the time. I remember that now. No. So it's, I mean, it's working okay. It's not. It's not a hundred percent. Okay, so Galga. Okay, the weird uh, graphics that were replacing the numbers are gone now. They're, the numbers look right. Okay, now the, the just characters are messed up again. So it seems, seems like a little a bit of an intermittent problem. Uh, good. No. No. Good. Okay, let's try Athletic World. Back to that same behavior, which is it's okay. Kind of works. Wow. Interesting. And Wheel of Fortune. Good. 
Good. Good. Okay, so Wheel of Fortune seems like it's working pretty good. Athletic World still gray screen every time reset works again. Galaga is having uh, the numbers turn into you know symbols or something like that every other time. And ice hockey is, is like 90% or something. So uh, now, so I've got these games kind of my test subjects and, and we've cleaned them, we know they're clean. And the next step I'm gonna go ahead and try is I'm gonna boil this connector uh, for a second time. This time I'm gonna boil it um, for about twice as long as last time. So I'm gonna boil it for maybe uh, 20 minutes this time and try it again. Okay, so I got it off. I'm gonna go throw this in a boil for about 20 minutes and come back and try it out again. Okay, so I've got this boiled. I actually boiled it for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes actually this time. And I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it and do this test again and see if boiling it for the second time will do the trick. Okay, so I've got the 72 pin connector in. I've got the NES uh, put mostly back together, left a couple of the screws out, but um, back, back together. And I'm gonna go ahead and try out these uh, four games again. Start with, um, let's just start with Galaga. And, okay, so that came up good. I still don't know if you can see, but um, the, the numbers are not symbols. Let's see if it'll end up messing up. Uh, yep, it's messed up a little bit. Messed up. Messed up. Uh, it's good. It's good. It's messed up. It does feel a little bit tighter, the, the connector does. It's good. That's good. Let's try the athletic world. Okay, so that's exactly the same as it was, which is not great. This is ice hockey. working pretty good and finally wheel of fortune Okay, so Wheel of Fortune's working really good too. So, um, Ice Hockey and Wheel of Fortune, um, they're, they're working just fine, it seems like, but I'm still having problems with Athletic World, getting the gray screen first, then hit reset, it'll work. And then Galaga actually works, but it's got the, you know, some of the numbers get turned into symbols. So, um, I boiled it twice, I've cleaned it a couple times, I've cleaned the games. So the only thing left to do is to go ahead and try bending the 72 pin connectors. So I'm going to go ahead and try to do that and see if that makes a big difference. Okay, so I've got the 72 pin connector here. As you can see, this is the bottom row that connects to the PCB on the Nintendo. And then the top row connects to the cartridge. There's a top and a bottom set of pins and I'm gonna go ahead and try to use this uh, dental pick or something like it maybe grab something else if this one doesn't work out too good I'm gonna try good go ahead and do this and um, see how it goes so 
So you can get to the top pins from some other videos I've seen. There's a, a way to get to the this top row of pins, but um, it seems pretty hard, and I'm I'm honestly not sure how much it's going to matter um, if we do the bottom ones very well. So I'm probably going to just go ahead and try to do the bottoms and, and see if that doesn't uh, do the trick because these top ones seem like a little bit too too tricky to get to for for today. So here goes on the bottom. So there's some little pieces of plastic at the top that uh, my pick is getting into and breaking off. It actually looks like those pl pieces of plastic aren't aren't necessary. You can see on the bottom what they do is they keep these um, these sides. Oops. On the bottom, you can see that they keep these sides um, each pin separated, but on the top, they don't actually stick out. The pins don't actually stick out that far. So it seems like these are. These are actually not needed up on top, so I'm not going to worry too much about, about breaking them, but that's definitely a little bit of a problem. I wonder if I could get rid of them and have a lot easier time at this. It might happen anyway. Okay, so I've gone through these a couple times, and I, I did break off a couple of these um, little pieces of plastic. I, I really don't think that's a, a problem up there. And I've got the pins. It's kind of hard to get it on camera, it's, uh, but the, for the most part, the pins are pretty consistent heights. I've got a couple that are you know a little bit higher than others but they're definitely a lot higher than they were when we started. When I started they were pretty much flattened out. I've got them so they're almost um, some of them probably are but um, almost touching the top they almost go all the way to the top and touch the top connector and I'm, I'm guessing if it'll the metal will 
will keep that shape that that uh, this will be a much much uh, tighter connection and maybe this will take care of the intermittent problems on a couple of those those games that were having some trouble so let me put it back together and test it out okay so I've got it back together and I've got it pretty much ready to go I went ahead and put the uh, the first game in and and the first thing I noticed was it was it was pretty actually hard to get it to, to go in there so um, let's do Galaga yeah it is it's actually kind of a little bit too much there we are okay and the uh, numbers came up uh, right this time let's keep trying it and hopefully it won't loosen up too much it needs to loosen up a little bit but hopefully it'll stay pretty tight the numbers are good good um, oops. What happened there? I'm not sure what happened on that one good good wow all right good wow okay let's try athletic world this one has very consistently had a brown screen at, uh, at first and then had to hit reset so oh, let's try it oh well maybe there's something wrong with that game it, it hasn't really deviated from this same yeah there's something wrong with the game I guess I'm not sure it doesn't seem like a cartridge problem because it it doesn't I haven't changed anything about the cartridge and it's still hmm, interesting all right ice hockey I think this one was working pretty good anyway but Is really tight. <laughs> crazy. Seems to do the trick though. Wow. Alright, and Wheel of Fortune, I think I think this one was working pretty good too after the last boiling. Looks like I might not have needed to bend them up quite as far, although we'll see how long it takes before they they loosen up anyway. I'm, I feels like a little bit too much actually, to be honest with you. So maybe not bending them quite as far, although it does work. the The games all work, so something to be said about that. Couldn't try this pile over here. These these are all you know working somewhat and somewhat not. Um, and well some of them probably are not as clean as others let's see if it makes a big difference Mario 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 is working pretty good. This is Tetris. Works. Ugh. Man. I don't remember what a brand new Nintendo was like. So I can't say if this is way tighter than it's supposed to be or not. Maybe somebody could tell me what they remember. Uh, this is Marble Madness. Good. It's good. Yeah. Let's try um, Hogan's Alley. Yeah, 
So here's the uh, Mario without Duck Hunt. Mm, wow. That's neat. Okay. I remember this one didn't work too good um, before, so maybe this one's dirty. dirty and shummed it in there cleaned it up Zelda Uh, Mario Duck Hunt. There it goes. Yeah, I bet those pins are so tight now that just putting the cartridge in and out is actually kind of cutting through the, the crap that's on the pins. Which is, which is neat. I mean, there's I guess you can call them self-cleaning contacts. Uh, they're supposed to be, I guess, once they get worn out. Uh, not so much. That's not terrible. That's, a, that's not too bad. Yeah. Nope. Mm, let's try this one. It's a, it's a little bit dirtier, but let's see. Let's try this one one more time. And you know, one more time just for completeness sake. You never know what's what's changing every time you put a different game in. That was good. 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 Good for that one. Well, there you have it, folks. I uh, had a NES boil the connector. I got a little bit overconfident about it. Looked like it was working, but after putting a bunch of different games in, realized, hey, you know, this is pretty uh, much not working that good. It was where I could touch the system and it would reset and get all, all messed up and stuff like that. So, boiled it again. Um, seemed like it helped out a little bit. It did, did improve a little bit. Cleaning the games seemed like it helped out a little bit. But bending the pins back up uh, seems like it really has done the trick. All these games, except for one that seems like it has a problem, uh, are working fairly well. Um, 
we did find a couple games in there that were dirty that still, you know, the games have to be clean, the system has to be clean, the connector has to be tight enough, all of it has to work together. But as you can see, it's a multi-step uh, process. Um, I still think that boiling is the first step. It's the least invasive. It's not going to hurt anything. In some systems, it seems like it definitely, you know, that's all it needs. In other systems like this one where it was, it seems like it was more worn out, we actually had to go in there and manually adjust those pins. Next time I would try not, um, not kind of bending them up quite as far to see if I could get you know, a little bit easier insertion, uh, but yet still working, you know, just fine. So, uh, in conclusion, I'd say that that's a success, and if you have a, an NES system, most of these uh, NES systems are so old, I'm finding every one I get has some problem where it won't read a game. Um, boil the connector, contact cleaner, contact cleaner on your games, um, see if that works, and then go on to, um, you know, try bending the pins up carefully. So well, I hope that was helpful to you guys. If you like this video and uh, the kind of videos I've been making, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit like and subscribe and all that fun stuff, and I'll see you next time.